Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It has been so long since I have vlogged. It's probably been since we went to Colorado, which was at the beginning of September. Long story short, I got married. I am a married girl now. I'm a wife. It was so much fun. These last few weeks, this last month really, has just been insane. I just kind of like took a break from vlogging and trying to get, you know, like all the clips of everything. Um, the last couple weeks right before the wedding were crazy, just with last minute wedding details having to come together. Obviously the wedding was crazy. That whole weekend was insane, so busy. It was wonderful. It was the most perfect day. It was the best day of my life. Everything just went so well, so smoothly. I was just so happy. Um, it just exceeded my expectations of what it was going to be. And I'm just so thankful for the day that we had and all the people that were there to celebrate with us. Um, so it was, it was wonderful. And I'm honestly really glad that I didn't worry about vlogging. I just wanted to enjoy the weekend with the people that I love and my husband and then right after the wedding we got married on a Saturday we got married on the 14th of October Sunday we came back because we were up in Dahlonega so that's like an hour 15 minutes from Atlanta so we drove back on Sunday back to Atlanta to our apartment and we were just able to kind of like get everything together unpack the car and then pack for our honeymoon because we left on Monday we went to Cancun we stayed at an all-inclusive resort down there right on the beach it was perfect it was the most perfect week we were there Monday to Saturday and again I just didn't oh my god there's a bug in my car oh my god I don't know what to do <laughs> look at it oh it's going into the air conditioning <gasps> I don't know what to do Ew. <gasps> What do I do? Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait until, I guess I'll just wait until it comes back out. I don't even see it in there anymore. It's like lost in the air conditioning. I guess it just lives here now. Anyways, what I was saying, now I'm gonna be on like bug watch. Anyways, I, back to the honeymoon. I had thought about vlogging the honeymoon just to kind of have like, more for just like me and Joey to have that for like memories and stuff. But honestly, I just didn't want to have to worry about like, everything we were doing making sure that like I had it on camera I just kind of wanted it to be like more natural the way I picked up my phone to take pictures or videos that week I didn't want to have to worry about it being like an entire vlog of the week and I'm honestly really glad that I did that because we just really enjoyed the honeymoon it was so relaxing we just got to enjoy each other and have the week off for ourselves and continue the celebration and it was everything both of us wanted it to be so anyways now we're back we've been married for two weeks now um and then this past weekend was my birthday so we were with family and that was busy and everything so i just needless to say have not even thought about vlogging but we're back to it we're getting our life back together we spent the entire day yesterday just cleaning the apartment um decluttering i have lots of things to take to goodwill and Joey this week started his surgery rotation. So this week he's at Grady Hospital in Atlanta for trauma surgery and he's got quite a long schedule every day. It's Monday through Saturday this week and he's working like 6.30 in the morning to six o'clock at night. So I am totally on wife duty this week. I don't work till this weekend. So I kind of have the next few days just to like go grocery shopping and get some things done that need to be done. Another thing that I've pushed off since the wedding is going to the gym and getting back into that gym routine and I miss it. So that's what we are going to do first today. I'm about to go to the gym and then I've got some grocery shopping to do. I'm gonna get stuff for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna meal prep stuff for Joey for him to take to the hospital this week. That's where we're at. It feels good to be like back into a routine, back into our lives and yeah, I missed vlogging too. I have so much fun doing this and so much fun like editing the videos and stuff like that. So I'm excited to like get back into that and now that I don't have wedding planning hanging over my head I can really like hone in and focus on this which is something that I love to do so I'm excited and yeah just thought I would pick up the vlog camera I have no idea if I'll just vlog today or if it'll be a few days but yeah let's get into it Just got done with the gym. It was a good workout. I did some biceps and back and it was great. I did some abs as well. I'm also trying to be better about stretching before my workouts. 
I'd really like to be like more flexible. <laughs> when Joey and I were in Mexico on our honeymoon, they had like a bunch of workout classes and stuff at the resort. And a few of the days we did Pilates classes and I realized how not flexible I am. And so I wanna change that. I also just know that it's like good for you. And it's nice to like take a moment to just like sit and stretch and like focus on your breathing and stuff. But anyways, now we are gonna go to Trader Joe's. I only need like a couple things there. I'm gonna grab some shawarma chicken to throw in the crock pot cause I'm gonna meal prep some um, like Mediterranean Greek bowls for Joey for work this week or for school or clinic or whatever you wanna call it. But so we're gonna go do that. I'll probably run home and then go back out to get some stuff for dinner. Oh, I also wanna grab some salmon cause I think I wanna do salmon tonight for dinner. Just like salmon and some kind of veggie and brown rice. I just got back from Trader Joe's. I am just going to show you what I got from there. Oh, lots of goodies. So let's start with this bag. I, like I said earlier, I'm gonna make um, Mediterranean bowls for like meal prep for Joey this week. So I grabbed some feta cheese. I love this one cause it's got like the Mediterranean like herbs and stuff in it too. It's really good. I grabbed some just like romaine blend for salads and I may throw some of that in the bowls as well. Grabbed a tzatziki dip for the Greek bowls as well. I've never had this one, but I've had tzatziki from there before and it was real good. This is my favorite hummus in the whole world. It's so good. It's the Mediterranean style hummus. And I'll put that probably in the bowls as well. Grabbed a cucumber also for the bowls. For dinner tonight, I just grabbed some salmon and then the shawarma chicken thighs for the Greek bowls as well. Then I just stocked up on a few yogurts from Trader Joe's. I like their like non-fat Greek yogurt. I'd never seen, they had a pumpkin flavor when I went there today. So I grabbed a couple of those, love pumpkin stuff. I grabbed um, a blueberry one and a vanilla bean one as well because I know Joey will like to take that to the hospital. Oh my God, so sweet. I got this little um, bouquet of flowers because I was talking to the girls I was checking out and she was asking me like what I did this weekend and stuff and I said, it was my birthday and um, told her I just got married recently and she was like, she packed up all my stuff. She was like, okay, hang on, I'll be right back. And she went and grabbed this for me and she was like, happy belated birthday, it was so sweet. I was like, that's so thoughtful. Only at Trader Joe's would um, somebody do something like that. Next bag, I grabbed the peanut butter protein granola. I love this stuff, it's so good in yogurt. Um, Joey requested that I get him some almonds. So I just got like the dry roasted and salted almonds. Grabbed some lemons, both for the bowls and for dinner tonight. I grabbed a red onion and a tomato, some frozen stuff. I grabbed some garlic naan. I used to get this stuff all the time in college and I would make like pizzas with it and like little wraps, but I thought it would be good. I have never tried this stuff from here before, but I don't know what it is with me right now, but I am on a um, Indian food kick. So I grabbed some of their frozen like butter chicken and then I grabbed two of the chicken tiki masalas. I love both of those things. There's an Indian restaurant near us that um, I've been obsessed with recently and we love to order takeout from there. So thought we could try it with the garlic naan and then I grabbed Joey a barbecue chicken pizza just in case. He wants that for dinner one night. I also grabbed the burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread. I felt like this would be an easy dinner if he gets home late and like I don't feel like cooking anything or whatever. So I grabbed a couple of those so that we could have those. And then I also just grabbed a pack of their fruit, uh, frozen blueberry waffles. These are real good. And I know Joey will just like heat up a frozen waffle in the morning before he goes into the hospital. So, but yeah, I'm gonna put all this stuff away. And then I need to throw the chicken in the crock pot and then we'll see.
I literally don't know where <laughs> to put these flowers because let me just show you this. So I have this bouquet of flowers that I got in at Trader Joe's last week. It's like kind of getting near its last leg. Some of the roses are starting to die. I have this one that my mom brought to me on my birthday. It's beautiful. And then I have this one of yellow roses over here that Joey's mom got me for my birthday. So this one, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so this one, this was like quite literally, I have a large like mason jar and that's like literally the last vase that I have. I'm using both of mine right there and then that one came in another vase. So this one, I'm just not even sure where to put it. I'm wondering if we can put it in this room because it would be pretty, but I just don't see where it could go. Also, this room has totally changed. We got a new bed, so we put our old bed in here and made it kind of a guest room. This is a neon sign that was at our wedding reception. And then we're also going to move around these photos and mount this TV as well. So we're both really happy with the guest room being like this. But anyways, I'd love for like a thing of flowers to be right here, but I just don't think that's gonna work. Maybe in the bathroom? Maybe we could put them in here for now. Let's see, we can put them in the corner right here. Todd, that was not helpful. This looks fine for now. I mean, it's just until, until the flowers die, really. Whatever, it looks nice in here. Anyways, I'll show you our new bed though. This is, excuse it, it's not made, but this is our new king bed. We had put it on our registry. Friends of ours got us the uh, bed frame and then some other friends of ours got us the mattress and then some other friends of ours, some family friends got us that tree too. So I'm really loving it. It's so comfy. It's so big. I love having a king bed. It has completely changed the game for us. So I'm really happy with how this looks in here. Um, it's just so cozy. It's really low to the ground, which is different for us because our other one was so much higher, but I really, really like this. So something else we got off our registry is this steam mop. Shout out Jean for getting us this steam mop. I'm so excited to use it. I put it together yesterday, like just opened it and set it up and stuff. I just haven't used it yet. Basically we spent the day yesterday like completely redoing, organizing that room. The couch that was in the other one, I don't know if y'all remember I've showed it in a few clips. It was a blue pullout couch that was in there. It was great, so comfy. Tried to sell it on Facebook Marketplace because obviously we had put the bed in there and the couch was literally just like sitting right here like in the middle of the apartment and I hated it. Could not stand it being in the way of everything. It was so crowded in here with it. So honestly, like we were just trying to get rid of it like ASAP. So we tried to sell it, but then a couple people like tried to scam me for it. So friends of ours, they were looking for a couch and we were like, honestly, if you can just come pick it up, like he has a truck. So we were like, just come pick it up and take us to dinner. Like that's all we want for this couch. Like we just wanted it out of here. So those friends of ours came yesterday um, grabbed the couch and we went to dinner with them last night. So yeah, I'm so glad that we have that out. We've like totally been decluttering, organizing this place. It feels so good, but now I just need to clean. So I really want to like do a good vacuum, a good steaming. I'm also hungry. I should eat first. I might make like a little salad for lunch. That's where we're at today. I know it's super exciting around here, but we're just like getting our shit together after being so busy the last couple months. Busy with like the best things ever, but busy nonetheless, so. Okay, I just vacuumed and mopped the whole like living room and kitchen area. That was so great. I loved using that mop. It was so satisfying and it was actually disgusting when I picked it up because all we've ever been using is a Swiffer and I just knew that the Swiffer just like 
wasn't doing it. So I was so excited to get that steam mop. Anyways, Joey is about to leave the hospital, but I think he's going to the gym first before um, coming home. So I'm gonna start meal prepping his chicken in the crock pot. Oh, never mind. it only has like a minute left. So I'm gonna start his meal prep and then I'll start on dinner as well. So for dinner, I'm making salmon and I'll probably make some white rice and broccoli with it. And then for his meal prep, I'm gonna make some quinoa and then start chopping up all the veggies and stuff. Okay, well I was prepping all the veggies and my camera died and I didn't realize it. So this is where we're at now. I've got some cucumbers and tomato and red onion all chopped up. I've got the chicken in here. I just shredded it all and then the quinoa is now done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these bowls together. what the little the bowls are looking like little mediterranean bowls for joey they look delicious i want one for myself okay i am making dinner now that i'm done meal prepping i've just got so much going on anyways we are doing white rice and salmon and broccoli we also got one of these like wine aerator things sorry i have friends on in the background uh, we got one of these wine aerators for red wine off of our registry. Not even off our registry, but as a wedding gift, somebody got it for us. I've never even like, I like had heard of them before, but didn't like really realize like what they did. And we tried it last night and it was, the wine was so good. It like totally just like took the bite out of the red wine and it was so smooth and so good. So I have that out with a couple glasses just in case Joey wants one with dinner. I'm having a glass, but. but yeah, I just have the broccoli on the stove right here and I've got the rice cooking in the um, rice cooker and then I need to just clean out this crock pot. I was just kind of waiting for it to like cool down a little bit. And then over here, I'm gonna prep the salmon, get that out of the fridge and pop that in the air fryer. I'm just kind of waiting to like actually cook it because Joey went down to the gym in our apartment and salmon doesn't take that long to cook in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna wait until he, it's like coming back in a sec. So yeah, that's the plan for the night, just making dinner um, and hanging out, so. Good morning, you guys. Obviously, it's the next day. Last night, we just hung out, had dinner, went to bed pretty early. And this morning, I've just been up kind of cleaning up around the house, just from dinner last night and dishes and stuff like that. Now I'm sitting on the couch eating little breakfast I'm just having some pumpkin yogurt the pumpkin yogurt that I got at Trader Joe's yesterday and then some um, granola as well my plan for the day um, is probably I'll probably go to the gym first and then I really need to run by um, GNC to grab some more pre-workout because we are running low on ours I need to pick up my dry cleaning what else do i need to do oh i need to go to target i need to return something there um and there's a couple other few things that i need at target but yeah joey's at the hospital all day today for his clinical so i won't see him and then tonight he's going to a dave Chappelle show with a friend so i am just hanging out i'll figure out dinner for myself tonight i'll probably eat one of those like frozen pizzas that i got at trader joe's yesterday another thing i really want to do for my birthday my parents got me the shark flex style and i've been dying to try it so my hair needs a good wash anyway so i after i go to the gym and stuff i'll probably come back here shower wash my hair do a little blowout and then do the rest of my errands so i am just going to sit here eat my breakfast also it's so weird like having so much time on my hands i feel like for so long any free time that i had was usually spent wedding planning and there was like always so much to do there was always something that like i could be doing whether i was doing it or not and so now i just like have all this free time on my hands and i like don't know what to do with it so 
it's nice don't get me wrong it's it's really nice to just kind of like hop the day to myself and kind of do whatever I want to do but it's definitely like taking some getting used to okay hi I just got ready for the gym just wanted to show you my gym outfit I just got this set for my birthday actually um, it's the same brand that I always wear off of Amazon. It's crazy yoga. I love this brand I swear by it. This is all I wear to the gym. It's just these like dark purple leggings I think these are like the um, butter luxe ones and then the sports bra is a style that I have not tried Yet, but I actually really like it It's like great coverage up top and it just looks like that in the back and then I'm just throwing on this little gray sweatshirt. This is from Airy. I bought it to wear for like work and stuff because I love little sweatshirts like this for work, but it works good as just a cover up for gym fits. Also just realized I did not take my greens this morning, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Chug some of these. These are the greens I take. They are just from Amazon, it's the amazing grass. I just do the superfood blend. Not the best tasting ever, but I love them. Cheers. Just left the gym. That was a great workout. I just absolutely murdered my shoulders, so that's gonna feel great tomorrow. I also decided that I am hungry and want to go home and eat and then go back out and run a bunch of errands. So I'm gonna go home and eat and shower and probably blow out my hair and then we'll go run some fun errands. I am gonna make some lunch. I'm gonna show you what I have been like hyper fixated on lately for lunch. Every time I go to Chick-fil-A, I've been getting a um, Southwest salad and I get regular chicken strips on it, the fried chicken strips. And it's so good with the creamy salsa dressing. And whenever I go, they they always give me two dressings for the salad, but really I only need one. So I have an extra one in here. These frozen chicken nuggets, they you can find them in the frozen section. I get mine at Kroger. I'm sure you can find them at other grocery stores. They're called the Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Bites. They are exactly like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. I swear on my life. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I make them in the microwave. They're not as great in the microwave. I prefer the air fryer. So I just pop them in the air fryer. It's just 350 degrees air fry for eight minutes. And they're so good. So I just literally grab some lettuce, those chicken nuggets, and pop this salsa on there, or this um, salsa dressing on there. And it's so good. It's like a Chick-fil-A Chick salad. I just don't really put any more like toppings on it and stuff. Like when I get it from Chick-fil-A, I put the like tortilla strips on there and it comes with like corn and black beans and stuff. I don't do all that. I'm just lazy and I just need like a good quick lunch that's filling and like a decent amount of protein. That's it. I'm going to make this for lunch. I'm also lazy and don't want to have to clean my air fryer when I'm just making chicken nuggets. So I literally just pop some tin foil in there cook the chicken on that that just got done cooking i'm gonna make the um like base of the salad it's literally just lettuce it's nothing special i'm just taking this like random romaine like lettuce blend that i got from Trader Joe's yesterday you can use whatever kind of lettuce you want i like to use a tupperware so that way i can shake it up i like to cut them up into like little bite sized pieces um that on there and there we have it. This is my lunch. Yum. Okay, hi you guys. It's a little bit later. Obviously, I just showered, washed my hair. I did a little bit of makeup. While my hair is still wet, I'm going to put a couple products in it. I use this Kristen S. Instant Lift um, Thickening Spray. Lift focus. There you go. And then I will also use just this blow dry mist. And it's um, got heat protectant in it. I got the shark flex style so this is basically like the main dryer that it comes with and it also rotates like that so you can just use it as a blow dryer i'm definitely going to use the round brush today so first i'm going to just use this just as a dryer um, to dry most of my hair they say it's supposed to be damp when you use like the styling brushes and stuff so 
I'm gonna get it to that point. This thing is powerful. So when I am blowing out my hair, also this blow dryer, there's like so much volume to this, I love it. But when I'm blowing my hair out, I like to take just like that top layer of hair and put it up and do the bottom layer first. So I literally will just like clip it up. All right, so you can see one side of my hair is done. Now I am going to do the other side and I will come back when I have that done. Okay, so I just did the other side. As you can tell, I love it. It's like, just like a nice, like subtle blowout. Um, but the volume's definitely there. So I just kind of like roll the ends all dried all blown out now so let's see what it looks like oh wow i love this i'm really happy with how it all turned out all in all i think it looks pretty good I'm happy with it i have thought about like post wedding cutting my hair not super short maybe like four four and a half inches just to test it out because why not because i can it'll grow back now we have some fun errands to run i am just gonna go beep up around mentioned earlier i need to go to gnc to get some more pre-workout tj maxx is right next to there so pretty likely i'll go in there okay so I went to GNC and got what I needed. When did they TJ Maxx? I don't really know why, because I think I was just like, I'm gonna set this right here. I think I was like maybe thinking like something would Ooh. catch my eye, but it didn't really. Sorry, I just need to punch out stick. Anyways, so now I'm gonna run to Target. I was like literally in TJ Maxx, kind of like browse through the clothes for a second and then just decided that I would rather spend more time and probably more money at target i just finished up at target it is dark outside now i got a good bit of stuff joey is actually not going to the show i thought he was going to tonight so he's at home he just called me he's so confused he was like where are you so i'm gonna head home don't know what we're gonna do for dinner i may keep vlogging tonight i may pick it back up in the morning we will just see <laughs> good morning <laughs> well, it's not really morning anymore. It's like afternoon last night. We got our wedding pictures back So I have just been I have spent the morning just looking at our wedding pictures and saving them all to my phone and like picking my favorites and It's been great. They're so good. They're like just beyond what I ever expected them to be They're just they're so good the photographer that we chose and decided to work with She just went above and beyond my expectations and she did so well. She just captured the day so well She captured the like the beautiful weather that we had and just the joy That we both had that day. It was just it was so fun like going back and seeing these pictures It's like hitting me all over again that I got married So anyways, that's what I've been doing this morning and then obviously I got up got dressed and got ready um, for the day. I don't know what I saw. I think I saw on TikTok recently. It was just somebody that like drank or ordered like a London Fog tea. And ever since I saw that, I was like, that just sounds so good. Like I'm not always like in the mood for coffee right in the morning. So when I went to Target last night, I grabbed some Earl Grey tea and some oat milk. And I'm gonna make a little London Fog latte it's basically like an earl grey latte with like frothed milk and i'll probably put like a splash of vanilla creamer in there as well my tea it's so good it's like not as heavy as coffee and it's nice just to have something like a little bit different anyways I thought I would sit here and show you just a couple of the things that I got at Target yesterday most of it was like boring 
cleaning stuff that we needed to like restock on um i needed some like hand soaps we were out of like stain remover like just random stuff like that i got some extras for the like extra razor heads for the razor that i use it's this flamingo razor i love this razor i swear by it for the longest time i was using um men's razors because i was so convinced that they were like better than women's razors and i just like like i just never i never found a razor that like i really liked that was women's and then i saw the flamingo brand at target and i have absolutely loved it it comes with like a little suction thing for the shower wall that you can hang your razor on so i just got some extra cartridges for that because i was out some shaving cream i just get basic shaving cream like whatever the cheapest one is there that's what i get stocked up on these mighty patches because my sweet husband has been using all of mine he goes crazy and he walks out of the bathroom with like 40 mighty patches on his face so i need to stock up because i also need them this cream contour by milani i love this stuff i have i had never been like a cream contour kind of person but when i found this I feel like it's probably a dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury one. I've never used it before, but I've like seen people use it and seen it be like applied and blended and stuff. And it like the product is very similar to that and the applicator is really similar. It's like a little sponge applicator. Love this. I get the color toffee. It's like a, um, it's a lighter brown, but it's more of like, I wouldn't say it's more warm toned or cool toned. It's kind of like right in the middle, which is, I really like that because it's pretty like versatile and how you want to use it. This mascara, I have tried a million mascaras. I will always go back to this one. I get the waterproof kind. I just feel like it holds the curl of my lashes a lot better. I needed a new powder blush. So I just saw this one that's the same like Milani brand. So I just picked this up. Um, it's like a really pretty like rose pink. Needed more little cotton rounds for when I take my makeup off. I needed another little eyebrow pencil. This one's got like the spoolie and the eyebrow brush on either side. I get these like probably a couple times a year just because I use like brow pomade and it doesn't hold like the brushes don't hold up very well with the pomade and I'm not very good about like cleaning the brush every time I use it which if I did that, maybe I wouldn't have to keep buying them. But these are literally like $2. So I just keep restocking in them. And then I also am almost out of my face lotion. I use this Ordinary. Um, it's like the face moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. I've been using this for years. I love it. I feel like it's not um, a super heavy moisturizer. It just depends on like what you want for your face moisturizer. But for me personally, I like something really light and not oily so i put this on like morning and night love it so much and then i got this sweatshirt which i have just been kind of looking for like more sweatshirty pullovers it's really oversized like i got a size medium and super oversized wearing it today i love it it's super comfy it would be great for work too if you're a nurse especially if you work night shift you know that it is a different kind of cold in the hospital at night. I don't know what it is, but I will be sitting there shivering. My friend Allie has a heater and we're always crowded around her heater. So I'm always looking for like little sweatshirts that I can just throw on at work that obviously like don't have any like wording or like brands on them. So I really like that. Next, I got these sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweatpants Hello. They are just these brown sweatpants and they flare at the bottom. Actually, I haven't even tried these on, but they're sweatpants and I got a size medium, so I know that they're going to fit me. But they're really, really soft. I have also just been looking for more sweatpants. Um, I feel like my sweatpant collection has just kind of like dwindled over the years. And certain ones don't fit me anymore and other ones I just don't like. So when I saw these, I grabbed them and put them in my cart immediately. They're great. They're that like Wild Fable brand at Target. They're pretty thick, but they're not like too thick to where if you're wearing them inside, you're going to be like suffocating. So anyways, that's what I got. And then the rest of it, like I said, was just like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Today, my plan is to go through wedding footage on my camera. My bridesmaids were amazing my wedding weekend and they just passed around my camera. I have like a full SD card of footage from the wedding that I haven't even like begun, begun, began to go through. So my plan is to literally like drink this tea, sit on the couch, 
um, just kind of have like a lazier day just sit on my computer and go through that probably start editing this vlog I have piles of laundry to fold and then tonight Joey will get home late we already decided that we're gonna order an Indian food told you we've been on like an Indian food kick it's so good it's like the perfect comfort food but anyways thank you for watching um welcome back welcome back to me because I have just totally taking a break from this but i'm so excited to like get back into it and on my days off just have like the camera with me and just be like vlogging the things that i'm doing and even vlogging like work stretches and stuff like that so i'm excited to get back into it this is something that like i really love doing regardless of like i could have zero people watching this and i would still be doing it because i don't know i think it's just a fun way to express like my creative side and I also love like sitting on the computer and editing videos. I think that that's really fun and that's like also a way to like creatively express myself. So anyways, long story short, I want to start posting more regularly. So stay tuned. If you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time.